Welcome to my channel. My name is Marisa and today I'm going to talk about my top five reasons that I am picking a alternative birth center. I want to start off this video by saying that um, any birth is a beautiful experience. So no matter what you choose for your birth or whatever ends up happening in your experience, you picked what you felt was best and most comfortable for you and that is um, the first step in choosing the right decision. So I am choosing to do a natural birth um, at an alternative birth center. It is a unit within one of our local hospitals but it is basically as if you took a birth center and you put it in a hospital. There are no hospital beds. Um, it is a very comfortable kind of homey setting. I only have midwives and nurses that will be taking care of me um, and I will have one single midwife that will be with me uh, throughout my entire labor. So we decided to pick this because um, this is our first baby and even though uh, we really believe in natural birth and we know that that will be what is best for the both um, me and the baby, uh, we just like that little bit of reassurance of being very close to um, the hospital just because it's our first birth and we, we don't know what complications could arise. My intuition is telling me we're gonna have a beautiful birth. Um, this will be a really great experience. And for the next one, I may even consider going to a birth center that is just blocks or so away from a hospital or something like that. Just for a little background, y'all, um, I do believe that the environment is a really large factor in giving birth. I have, um, read several books, watched several seminars, um, mostly around Ina Mae Gaskin's studies, um, but I've kind of explored a little bit outside of that. And I originally was going to take the path of becoming a midwife um, through my nursing career, but right now I'm currently a pediatric nurse, um, which I love and I may stay there for a little while. So that is um, my foundation of where I come from. I see birth as a very primitive, vulnerable, natural, beautiful thing that happens um, to all people that give birth. And um, that is where I'm coming from when I'm making this video. My number one reason for choosing an alternative birth center is the environment of a hospital laboring experience. When you go to give birth in a hospital, you are brought to one room and then examined and then you're brought to another room and then that's where you kind of stay for a little bit until you have the baby and then you're brought to another room. So it's a lot of changing factors. You have a lot of people coming in and out of the room. Um, I know this personally because I have sat on several births in a hospital during my nursing school experience, as well as during some volunteer experiences too. So I saw all kinds of different birthing in hospitals and they kind of follow that similar routine. Um, the other thing is that the atmosphere is a little bit more technical. Falling. So for most almost all women, unless they request otherwise, are gonna put you on continuous monitoring, which means you have these two little belt things that are on you. They're also gonna tell you that you can't eat or drink, so they're gonna be giving you IV fluids. Um, so you'll be kind of tied down in that sense. And then they um, will be doing continuous blood pressure. So you've got a lot of things on you that are restricting you to the bed. Um, they are gonna put you in a room that feels very hospitally. Most of the time when you go to the hospital, it's because you're very, very ill or you know someone who is very ill um, and it's not a welcoming, comfortable experience. It's usually bad when you have to go to the hospital. And so that is ingrained in our brains. Well, every single hospital room essentially looks the same outside of having the necess necessary equipment that they need for that particular unit. So when you go into the hospital, you're still in a hospital bed, just like on any other unit. And it kind of just gives you that feeling like something is wrong or just not, not the best feeling. Um, it could be a subconscious one. It's not necessarily always up front in your mind. So 
Um, the other thing is that they use, they'll always, they use bright lights. Now, sometimes they will keep them dimmed while the mother is in a laboring progress. But as soon as the doctors come in, the OBGYNs, they're going to turn those lights on because they're going to want to see. And um, I've seen several births where moms were just about to, to be able to crown and, and get the baby's head out. But it was like some, they just like couldn't and they were asked to have the lights turned off because that makes it. A huge difference um all right another thing is i don't like the environment of how um obgyns function in a normal uh, low risk delivery so i have every respect for them as a doctor um it's an amazing thing that we can are able to do these interventions to have babies um that could otherwise have passed away in later times when we weren't able to do this it's a and it's also a very stressful job you're not just worried about one patient you're worried about two and this person's baby which is like extremely nerve-wracking and probably very stressful to work with so um i do understand like why a lot of these invasive interventions are done and um i can i can see that perspective but I just don't think that that is what's best for a low risk birth who is, um, who has no complications or uh, no need for all those interventions because it's a natural normal thing that we do as humans. Um, so basically the OBGYN is going to kind of pop in when you get there and just like, you know, talk to you probably introduce themselves because they've never met you before and then um you will not see them again until the nurse lets them know that you are about to have the baby then they will gown up they'll come in and they're ready to deliver a baby i have seen several 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 times where the OBGYN comes in woman male you think they're you know the personality is great they're probably a great person but they have an attitude of I'm in here, I'm ready to deliver the baby, I gotta go to the next patient. And um, I just don't feel comfortable with that. I don't, I, I think that it adds pressure to the mom. I've seen a lot of times where moms are um, progressing and then as soon as the OBGYN comes, all right, let's give that, give, get that baby, they are, um, they stop suddenly. <laughs> And it, it takes some time and then the OBGYN gets frustrated a little. I've seen a few times and um, that's kind of how it happens. And then eventually the baby does come out. But um, I've just noticed that that doesn't really have the best outcomes for the mom or can maybe not be the most comfortable and peaceful experience. Number two, um, I am a fairly shy person. Um, I kind of have been my whole life. Um, I don't really easily jump in. Um, making friends right away it takes me a little bit of time. Um, when I was younger, it was much, much worse. It's gotten a lot better. Um, so I feel when I know the person who is taking care of me, that um, it makes a big difference for just feeling more comfortable in my own skin. So the the reason, the because of that, I picked an alternative birth center because I wanted to have a better relationship with um, my midwives. And I feel like they also, since they have less patients and they are taught from like a holistic point of view, they're a little bit more like welcoming in that sense, as opposed to a regular hospital environment where you get people that are, they're doing their jobs and they don't need to connect with you personally. So, excuse me. Um, so I really want to um, get to know, I spent a lot of time talking with them. It's a very comfortable um, engagement and that just makes me feel better being someone who feels a little awkward sometimes in social situations. I also like the concept when you give birth at a birth center is that um, you have a midwife that's going to be with you there the whole entire time. Now, depending on when you come in in a hospital, you could have a change of shift in nurses, which I've seen. Um, you could also have a change of shift of OBGYNs. And, um, you know, you have CNAs, techs, different kinds of people coming into the room nursing students, um, people that you've never met, you're halfway through your labor, and then um, you have a slew of whole new people coming in. And it sounds silly, 
um, to be like, oh, well, what's the big deal of that? But when you're in that state um, of giving birth, it you're, you're very vulnerable to subtle changes and that kind of makes a difference into how you progress. Um, everything that I've read, everything that I've watched, everything that I've seen uh, with my own eyes shows that when you are comfortable in your own skin and when you feel relaxed and feel in a safe environment, um, safe is the key word. You have to mentally, emotionally, physically feel safe. Your baby will come out easily. Um, because think about it, we're kind of verging into another section, but um, think about animals at a watering hole. Um, it's a very tense experience. You're on alert, you know, like this is a vulnerable state that you're in. Even though we don't live in an animalistic environment anymore, um, primitively our minds still function that way. Um, and so we need to feel safe in order to comfortably be able to have a, a birth that is safe and relaxed and easily progresses forward. Reason number three, I am picking an alternative birth center slash choosing to do natural birth is because I want to have the full experience. I want to connect with my body. I want to connect with my baby and I want to kind of um, connect to the earth and the world and, and really feel what it is, it is like to bring a child into this world naturally and how it has been done for centuries by all kinds of different mammals and people um, for years and years and years. And so um, I know that it will be challenging. I know that it can be scary because especially being a first time mom, um, this is something that I don't know what to expect. I don't know what it feels like. I don't know um, what I will be going through emotionally or um, how, how my coping mechanisms that I have planned will really come through for me. So that is the part of me that I won't say negative, but a little bit more realistic is kind of sitting in the back of my head and really making me um, have that little bit of nervousness, but that's good to be nervous because, you know, it also gives you a little bit of energy and alertness. Um, but then on the other side too, I do really, really, really believe and have faith in everything that I've read, um, everything that I've seen. And I know that this is what is best for me and my baby. I know that I will grow as a person from this experience. And I know that this is the best way that I can bring um, my child into this world as peacefully and loving as possible. So um, I have had some traumatic experiences in the past and that also kind of weighs in onto my decision because um, I want something that's gonna feel a little bit more nourishing, nourish, nurturing and um, understanding of all of those subtle aspects that can actually come out to play a big role in, in your outcome during birth. Um, okay, reason number four. Uh, statistically, when you give, um, giving, if you are low risk um, pregnancy, you have no complications or any previous medical um, history problems that would relate to um, problems giving birth, you actually have a lower rate of having um, pretty serious interventions or even C-sections during birth. Giving birth at an alternative birth center versus giving birth at a hospital. So they, I've read several studies of low risk, um, low risk pregnancies where moms either gave birth at a hospital or they gave birth at a like alternative birth center or at home um, with a midwife or something like that. Um, and the C-section rate was much, much higher in the women in the hospital than it was um, with the women giving birth at a birth center or at home. There are lots of reasons for this. Um, one, when you go into a hospital, they are, I've seen this a lot, they 
they will def probably start you on an IV drip and they'll start you on Pitocin, um, which is a man-made form of oxytocin and can create very intense um, and painful contractions that you may not have felt had you had your spontaneous, gradually growing, increasing contractions. Uh, they do this because they believe that it helps prevent hemor hemorrhaging. Um, you have to look at the risk versus benefits, honestly. So they will also not let you eat or drink, um, which can really drain the body of its energy and conservation to keep going forward. They also have you laying on your back, um, which intensifies the pain of the contractions because the baby is now pushing down, its head is now pushing down on that nerve part of your spine, um, which makes it much, much more painful. And the way the vagina is shaped, the baby also has to defy gravity and go here and then up because the vagina is shaped in like a slight curve as opposed to an upright position where the baby would be going down. So um, there are a lot of things that can contribute um, to a C-section. Also, um, doctors are, it's unfortunate, but we do have a lot of lawsuits within the medical field. Um, and in their mind, they are likely thinking, you know, I need to get this baby out and make sure that it's safe, um, regardless of what interventions I have to do and whether or not they may, might not might be the most comfortable for the mom. Um, so their top priority is to get mom and baby um, safely. And sometimes all of these things can kind of come together to um, create a labor that isn't progressing. And when it's not progressing, that's when they usually want to have a C-section that otherwise could have been prevented. Um, there's a lot of so many things you could go into um, with that. Epidurals, um, a lot of times because the moms are started on the Pitocin um, and they have very, very intense cramping that's immediately, it gives you a high dose of oxytocin instead of just a small one um, that you would have received naturally from your own hormones. Uh, and it's making you have extreme pain. Um, you are definitely probably going to want an epidural um, and then the epidural makes you numb from the waist down and we all know that movement helps to progress the labor so that's when they end up probably having to use a vacuum extractor forceps just so many more things it's a snowballing effect when you really start to think about it um, i'm not saying that you can't have a natural beautiful birth in a hospital because you definitely can um, but depending on the interventions that you allow, it can create an effect that could lead to an outcome that you don't desire. Okay, last and final fifth reason I'm choosing an alternative birth center um, is because I do have a love for the natural world. Um, I have been into herbalism and taking care of yourself naturally through the means that you can through the earth and earth I want to hey come see come here clover come here I want to connect with the earth I want to um, really feel that like bigger picture empowerment of giving birth naturally to my baby. Um, I also love to see that um, we have this ability as humans and as women that we can give birth to life. We can literally bring life into this earth. And I think that's really amazing. And I want to, um, you know, do that naturally and as naturally as possible and how I feel comfortable. Sounds a bit, um, you know, crunchy, I guess they say. But um, I also want to like connect with my ancestors and I wanna change the pattern of how my family has been giving birth because my mother had a C-section. My grandmother, unfortunately, was the generation where they would 
put you out entirely. You don't remember anything and you had your baby. And my great grandmother was a part of the generation where they would tie you down with your hands and your knees um, and sedate you with all kinds of things and you would give birth that way. Um, so I want to break that pattern of giving birth in that type of mannerism and um, hopefully this will set a new trend for my future daughters as well. So thank you for watching my video. Um, if you enjoyed, please hit the subscribe button or the like button or whatever you want to tap. And um, I will have more videos about all kinds of things um, that I can share um, about my nursing career, about um, herbalism, because I'm going to start digging more into that, and then about my journey through this pregnancy. So thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye! <laughs>